Hey guys, it's Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So guys, for today we're going to look at how to enable two-factor authentication on the um, Facebook, alright? So if you are using the Facebook app, it's a good idea on Facebook and other apps to enable two-factor authentication. What this actually does is it prevents others from logging into your device. So if for some reason somebody gains access to your password, they'll need a six-digit code which is automatically sent to your phone as soon as somebody tries to log in from a new device. This in most cases can stop um, hackers and other people who might try to breach your account or gain access. So I'm going to show you how to enable this as well as how to disable it. So the first thing you want to do guys is just go over to the Facebook app. You can see here the Facebook app is somewhere around here. Let's just find it. Here we go. So there's Facebook. So just go ahead and launch. Once you're on Facebook and it's a similar thing on the desktop, just go into the menu at the top here. And if you look right up here, you'll see the context menu. Just tap. Once you tap on that menu right there, what you're going to do next, guys, is you're going to scroll down. You're going to search for um, settings and privacy. All right. And of course, once you're in here, you're just going to go down to the settings. And as I said, you can mess around on the desktop. You'll find it in a similar location under settings, security. As you see here, it says um, security login. Just tap on that. Once you're in this area here, guys, so scroll down again. <clears throat> and if you look down here, you'll see um, use two-factor authentication, which is this option right here. So let's bring it up a little closer. All right, so as you can see, use two-factor authentication. Let's go ahead and tap. And as you can see, it says add extra security with two-factor authentication, add extra security to your account every time you log in on a phone or computer. We do not recognize, all right? So... And you can just go ahead and tap get started. And you see down here it gives you extra protection. We'll ask you for a password and a login code. Anytime we notice an unusual login um, through SMS or authentication app. Alright, so let's go ahead and it get started. And you see here it shows you the information. And it says here on my device to send a code over to this device here. And as you can see here, guys, uh, my number is already in. If you had this filled out in your um, information, if not, just go ahead and use a different number. So I'm just going to use this number right here. And of course, you can see it says um, enter the six digit code and it says confirm code. And it's just to make sure that you're actually receiving the code on your smartphone. And as you see here, I'm just going to wait for the code and it just came in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter the code on screen. So I'm just going to write it down if it helps. And then I'm going to enter the code. All right, as you can see, I've entered the code. Do not worry, it's a one-time code. Each time a new code will be generated. And of course, you can hit resend code in, in case you did not receive it and so on. Or check the number and uh, repeat the steps. So I'm just going to hit next. As you can see here, guys, it's going through the process. And it says two-factor authentication is on. And of course, you just go ahead and... You can just go ahead and hit finish but of course if in case you just want to give it a little time you can just turn on the option is allows login without a code for one week and you can just toggle that on or off what this does is just to give you a little time to get used to the feature so of course you could just turn it off i've turned mine off so i'm just going to hit finish and there you go so right now i'm just going to try to log back in i'm just going to launch again And for this to work, guys, I'm just going to log out. As you see, I'm logged out. So what I'm going to do now is I could actually try logging back in. And of course, if I use a different device, it will actually ask for the, um, it will trip the two-factor authentication. So I'm just going to lo log back in. And as you can see, guys, I've logged back in because I've logged out. And of course, there you go. The authentication code is sent. And of course, that's because I'm logging in for the first time. So it says you will. It just says you will get an SMS shortly and login code, and you can use that for um, logging in. I'm just gonna hit OK. And of course, it gives you the option there to enter the login code. So I'm just gonna check the code. Alright, guys. So I'm just gonna enter the code. There you go. It's loading right now. And of course, I am actually logged back in. Now in case I want to disable this, I'm just going to go here. Once I go here again, just like before, I'm going to go down to um, settings and privacy. 
and so I'm in setting and privacy and go to settings and as you can see down here again we'll go into security and login and from here guys I'll just look for use two-factor authentication notice that it's on so I'm just gonna top and again from here you notice I'm using the option that says text message so I'm just gonna go in here and it asks you do you want to change phone number or remove number all right it gives you the option up here it says that two-factor two authentication is on and it gives you the time you can turn it off just stop there and you see the option here that says turn it off the option so I can just go ahead and turn off just give it some time and it should be off now guys so I'm going to just check so I'm just going to close this out and go back to the app go into settings go back down to settings and privacy settings and I'm going to security and login scroll down and of course there you go so two-factor two authentication is now um, off which was quite um, straightforward as you can see here so guys this is how to actually enable or disable two-factor authentication on your device as I said before guys a great way of protecting your um, devices you can um, enable this in most apps because sometimes accounts do get hacked so it's less likely that someone will hack your account if you actually have it linked to your phone number where soon as a new device or unknown device is used to try to log into your account you'll get a um, text message with a six digit code that must be entered which of course is very hard for somebody else to get a hold of this code even if they get a hold of your password all right guys so this record from block tech tips showing to actually go through the process of um, enabling and disabling two-factor authentication on Facebook. Alright guys, using um, your phone. Alright, so we got it from Black Tech Tips. Same way until next time guys. Bye.